Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. Today, I'll show you how to use MB Views to configure the homepage by changing the content in the custom field without changing the page layout. I have a page with a carousel for the demo like this. Usually, whenever you want to change the content on the page, you should go to the theme files and change the content in code. It may be inconvenient when another one who is not familiar with coding wants to do it. So, it's when custom fields will come handy with dynamic content for your page. This page is using a pre-built template from Bootstrap. In the event that you are using your own template, you also follow this practice. For example, each slider here contains some information, such as the image, title, description, and button. Instead of adding these contents directly in the code, I will save them in custom fields. Then, to display the content, just get value from the fields. We'll need some tools for this practice. First, the Metabox plugin. It's available on WordPress.org. We'll need some advanced features from some extensions of Metabox. You can download them individually or use Metabox all-in-one to have them all. MB Views is to have a template for the page and get content from the custom fields to display on the homepage instead of touching any theme files or accessing the server or host. Next, Metabox Builder provides a UI to create custom fields to save the content of the homepage. First, simply go to Pages to create a new page. Go to the Settings menu. Set the new page as the home page. Instead of adding code to the theme files, you can use MB Views to create a template. Go to Views and add a new one. As mentioned before, I will use a pre-build template from Bootstrap, so just go to Bootstrap, download the template. I will add only a carousel like this to the homepage for example. So, open the file that we have just created. Look for the folder of the template you want. Copy the code or a part of it. Then paste it to this box on the view. In the event that you build the template yourselves, add code to this box as well. These are the content that we will display on the page. You also can add CSS and JS code to these tabs. Scroll down to set location for this template to apply to the home page. Also go to the themes file and add some lines of code to declare the online CSS and JS libraries from Bootstrap. This is how it is on the page on front end right now. But the content is now static. Whenever you want to change it, you should go to this editor and change these texts. To make it dynamic, let's move on to the next step. We should create custom fields corresponding to the content that we want to have on the page. Since I created only the carousel for example, I'll have a group field for it like this. Each slider has its own information with the same structure, so I'll create subfields inside the group for each kind of information, then make this group clonable. Let's create them. Create a group field first. Next, add some subfields inside this group. This is for the background image of the slider.
This is for the tagline. The description text. For the button, we should create two fields. One for the link on it. And one for the label. Back to the settings of the group, remember to check this one to make this group clonable. It will help us add more sliders. That's all the custom fields that I'm using for this practice. In the real case, you may want to have more content on the homepage, so just add more fields as you want. After creating fields, move to the settings tabs, choose location as post type, and select page. Since these fields will be applied to the homepage, add a rule in this section. Choose post, and select the name of the homepage. Now, on the home page editor, you will see the fields. Just fill in the information. Whenever you click the add more button, you create a new slider for the carousel. Go back to edit the template with MB views. The carousel now has three slides with the same structure of content. So we have three parts of the code that are quite the same. This is for the first slider. And these are for the two other ones. When using custom fields, we will use loops to get all the content from the sliders, since we save it in a clonable group. So, just keep the first part. And remove these lines. Next, just insert fields from the list on the right sidebar to get and display data from those fields. Click on the name of the created clonable group. A loop will be generated. Just move these lines of code to inside the loop. This is the one that I've just added to check if it is the first slider or not. This is to activate the style that we will apply to the slider. This is to display the image for the slider that has this URL. I will replace it with the image save in the single image field. I also added some code to check the first slider. Also replace these text by inserting data from the corresponding field. This heading will be replaced by the content from the title field. This one will be replaced by the one from the description field. This is for the URL of the button. So replace it with the link saved in this field. Also replace this text with the one save in the button text field. That's done for getting data from custom fields. You also can add some CSS to style the carousel a little bit more. Now, go to the home page, you will see the content is changed to the ones that are saved in the custom fields. From now on, whenever you want to change it, just go to the page in the back end, change these ones. There is no need to touch the code anymore. And, the content on the home page will be replaced with the new ones. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to learn more about how to play around with Metabox, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to us for more tutorials. Bye.